What's up my beardos and weirdos? One topic here. And we're diving into a subreddit we haven't done before, and that is r slash insane parents. I had a hard time reading through some of these. This is one of those subreddits you come across and you think, some of this has to be fake, please. I want to believe humanity is better than this. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Whose kids are woke? Do you discuss your lifestyle choices with them? I do with mine. They all know about home birth, body, anatomy, natural medicines, immune boosters, a bit of vax info, and breastfeeding, and so on. Hashtag admin. When you're woke as fu and your child wants to play doctor. Vitamin C, turmeric, candula, manuka honey, salve, probiotics, coconut oil, broth, elderly bear... <laughs> elderly... Elderberry, Magog, stark, silver, aloe, epsom salt, ACV, bone clay, broth, coconut broth, oil, broth, salve... <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. How to have your unvaxxed kids taken away 101. Fox News. Arizona police kicked down door of parents who refused to take unvaccinated two-year-old to hospital. Body cam footage shows. Ooh. <laughs> Vax your kids. <laughs> oh my goodness. I told mom I was sick. I got you some rose essential oils. When my nine-year-old asks to put some learntherisk.org cards in the baby aisle, they fit perfectly. Mm, yeah, my, my baby definitely, yeah, my nine-year-old definitely told me to put cards in this. This isn't, what, this isn't just a play for attention. I don't just want attention. <laughs> Found on r slash teenagers, a parent put a camera in their 14-year-old son's room. I'm saying when they find me through other means. Camera in my room, check in the house, etc. Thanks, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A camera in your room is a totally different thing than the phone tracker. A phone tracker sucks, but you have to be able to be alone in your room. You absolutely have to. It sucks, but it's only at my dad's house. Though my mom is thinking of putting one in her house too. I hate it. <laughs> Does anyone have a tracking device for their child? My daughter has a Verizon Gizmo watch. It has a GPS in it. Husband considering vaccinating our son and I'm terrified. The debate is making him second guess vaccines, and he's saying he's going to do his own research. I'm afraid he'll just run into a bunch of pro-vax studies. He said he wants official studies or research. <laughs> Good on your husband. <laughs> Presented with additional information, then decides to consider that information, weighs the pros and cons, and come to his own decisions. I, that, that is literally science. <laughs> Good morning, mamas. I have a question some of you may or may not also need help with. But I created my son's name and I'm trying to figure out how to trademark it or copyright it. Online I had said something about a $65 fee, etc. But is it that easy or is there like a place I can go to so I can legally own that name? If you have any links or information that would be helpful, I'd appreciate it. Uh, if, you're, if your kid's name is that unique, I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna catch on. Wait, do you want your kid to pay you? <laughs> I've had measles. It isn't a big deal assuming you take care of yourself and the kids and your immune system isn't hindered somehow. Uptake their vitamin A intake, otherwise really nothing. Go visit said child. Have you child drink from all the same cups, eat from the same fork, and snuggle in the hospital bed. Do what you can to have your child contract said measles. That way you get lifetime immunity and other benefits. No, <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> Vaccinate your kids. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, once oh, we, we've done this in, a, in another video, but oh my goodness. One study done in the 80s said you might be more resistant to a certain form of cancer. Cool, you'll be far more susceptible to other diseases if you contract measles. It does kill your immune system for very specific things. <laughs> See a doctor. Okay, so this piece of clothing says UPF 50 plus wearable sunblock. So my assumption is this piece of clothing is gonna block out some of the sun to a very specific level. 50 plus. That seems logical. It says ultraviolet protection factor UPF 50 plus wearable sunblock. That makes sense, right? All right, let's see what they have to say about it. Does this mean the sunblock is on the swimsuit already? I'm not okay with putting this on my daughter. <clears throat> Ew, get rid of it. I think that's exactly what that means. Yeah, I'm gonna return it for sure, lol. Maybe the material just blocks the rays? I don't know. That's a possibility, but either way, it doesn't sound, quote, healthy, unquote, to me. So do you think if you bought these types of clothes and washed them a few times prior to wearing, they would be okay? 
Not sure. That's a good question, but I would still be wary about it. Carrot seed oil is a great alternative to sunblock for those asking. Use wheat germ oil. It works too. Stuff is awesome. Oh my goodness, clothes block the sun. <laughs> Moving on. The only reason I am part of the anti-vax movement is not because I believe vaccines can cause autism. It is because I want to be able to have a choice in what I do without the government interfering with me. You want to not let my child go to school because she doesn't have the MMR vaccine? Fine. I'll just burn the whole school down. If my daughter can't have it, nobody can. Stop Carrie Rivera, Autism Quacks and Abusive Treatments for Autism. Mother arrested for attempting to inject bleach into daughter. Insane mother thinks bleach will rid the body of, quote, parasites causing the autisms. Unvaccinated boy spends 47 days in ICU with tetanus and his parents still refuse to get him vaccinated. Ah! Ah! Why? <laughs> Why you do this? <laughs> Pokemon has turned my son against me. I'm a dedicated Christian, and judging by what I've seen on television, Pokemon is a game full of violence, slavery, and abuse. Forcing creatures to fight for their own entertainment is appalling, and I cannot believe it's rated for children. I can also not believe it has been going on since the 90s, causing evil to spread. Yesterday, my son asked what I was fearing. He asked for a Pokemon game. I was shocked, because I knew my sister let her sons play that dreadful game, and my sister is dim and does not follow in God's footsteps. I told him no and immediately sent him to his room. I then phoned my pastor and he recommended steering my son away from that awful game. My son is 11 years old, and he has become very cold with me ever since I said no. He called me insane, which is a reflect of what the game can do to a child. I will not allow any kind of things in my house that are in any way offending God. I threw away all my son's Harry Potter books and forbidden him from watching the movies. I'm a good mother. Oh, <laughs> this is a mother. <laughs> I'm not changing the voice now. <laughs> and any parent who lets their kids play Pokemon will grow up with a power-obsessed, violent child-worshipping Satan. Evolution is also in the game, which is against God's words, is disgraceful and should be banned. Is everything okay with you? What time will you be here? Why do you always wait so long to reply? Stop. Stop texting me, Mom. Stop it. Stop it. Serious question for those who are Christian and pro-life, but also support vaccinating. So if you do not fall into these categories, this one isn't for you. I am genuinely curious as to how justification is made for allowing a vaccine which contains cells from an aborted fetus to be injected into your child. Is it because you do not believe that this is an ingredient? WI38, MRC5, and now the new Wallavax 2. Is it because you see no issue with it because it is for a medical related issue? Some other reason? I truly am wondering because this completely boggles my mind and I cannot wrap my head around it. Well, Susan. <laughs> well, Stephen. <laughs> I have a feeling like your name is probably Stephen. <laughs> you, you should you should watch my other video about vaccinating your kids and please vaccinate your kids. Oh my goodness. And we definitely also talk about whether or not fetuses are in them. Oh my goodness. Who watches porn and thinks I need to make this better for the kids? Unilad. Mums unite to make porn they're happy for kids to watch. <laughs> Told her I'd be at a date's house overnight and that she shouldn't be a part of my love life anymore. I'm 23. Headed to class soon. Okay, my son is in town an extra day and I'm waiting to see if he had plans this AM. May head down soon. I skipped this morning's swim. Had a bad overnight headache again. Call me. I'm headed to class. Sorry about your headache. Call me. If you don't call me, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Lol, why? I want to make sure this is you. <laughs> the question of how you would treat cancer without chemo. Apparently pot has magical powers, but only when paired with a vegan diet. Raw organic vegan diet and Mary Jane. My uncle smoked pot every day of his life from 17 until he died of cancer. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Love that. Presented with facts. Blocked. I wanted a daughter, but ended up with a son. And now he's seven. Is it too late to put him into foster care? How do I save money when selling my home? Virginia mother admits injecting child with her own blood. 
A Virginia woman who admitted putting her blood in her son's nose and mouth while he was in the hospital said she did it because she wanted her son to get attention from the hospital staff. Gary often disagreed with his treatment, but she liked the response she saw once when the boy was bleeding. That's why she injected her son with her own blood to recreate those symptoms, her defense said. But the prosecution said the injections left the child with infections and high fevers. In April, after a nurse saw a syringe hidden in Gary's shirt sleeve and a bloody napkin in the bathroom, a camera was installed in the boy's room. Since Gary has been in jail, her little boy's condition has improved dramatically, and he is now attending school, the prosecution said. Ugh. No, this baby isn't burned. She just decided to pour mom's scentsy wax over her head. This is how safe our wax is. Straight from the dish and she didn't even cry. Contact me or order online for a safe alternative to candles. Ugh, that poor child. Someone might want to look at calling the authorities. All right, my beardos and weirdos, that was r slash insane parents. Another really weird subreddit. And my first time going through it, but I had a lot of fun reading through these. Some of them made me a little worried, but <laughs> I really hope that everyone is okay in all of these. I really do. All right, let me know in the comments below if you like this video, if you want to see more, or if you have a recommendation for other subreddits you'd like me to dive into. This one was recommended to me by another individual who's actually going to get a shout out in a future video. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing lately. Did you notice that we hit 2,000 subscribers? <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next video, where we take it one topic at a time.